Garbage collection in Go is a process by which the Go runtime automatically finds and frees up a memory that is no longer in use, helping to prevent memory leaks and optimize application performance. Go's garbage collector primarily uses a mark and sweep algorithm. In the mark phase, the garbage collector identifies all live objects, which are those still reachable by the application, meaning they are referenced by pointers in memory. In the sweep phase, once all live objects are marked, the garbage collector clears out memory used by unreachable or dead objects, freeing up memory for future allocations. Starting with Go 1.5, Go introduced a concurrent garbage collector. This means that the garbage collection process can run alongside the application instead of stopping the world, which means pausing the application. This results in much lower latency, making garbage collection operations almost unnoticeable for most applications. The generational hypothesis in Go means that most objects are either very short-lived or long-lived. In many programs, objects created in a function, like local variables, are used briefly and then go out of scope quickly. These are short-lived objects, and Go's garbage collector efficiently collects them because they become unreachable once the function finishes executing. How does Go identify short-lived and long-lived objects? While Go doesn't divide objects into explicit generations like young and old, it can identify short-lived objects through the natural structure of Go programs. When a function completes, all local variables in that function's scope are unreachable if they were only used in that function. Go knows to treat these objects as short-lived because they go out of scope quickly. If an object survives multiple rounds of garbage collection, for example, it's still reachable after a few garbage collection cycles, Go treats it as more likely to be long-lived. These objects are moved logically by not revisiting them as frequently, since they're assumed to be in use for the program's duration. Go provides ways to tune the garbage collector. There is a GoGC environment variable, which stands for Go Garbage Collector, and it sets the garbage collection target ratio. For instance, GoGC equals 100, which is the default, means that the garbage collector will trigger once the heap size grows by 100% since the last collection. Increasing GoGC reduces GC frequency, but increases memory usage, while lowering it does the opposite. Scape analysis is a compile time process that determines whether a variable can be allocated on the stack rather than the heap. Here's why this matters. Stack memory is limited in scope to function calls, and memory is automatically freed once the function exits. If a variable is only used within a single function and does not escape, for example, it's not referenced elsewhere in the program, it can be stack allocated, which is faster and does not require garbage collection. If the variable is referenced outside its scope, it escapes to the heap and must be garbage collected, as its life cycle is longer than a single function call. By minimizing heap allocations, escape analysis helps reduce the garbage collector's workload, improving overall program performance. In Go's mark and sweep garbage collection, the three-color marking algorithm helps track which objects are reachable and which are not. This process prevents cyclic dependencies and safely identifies garbage. Step one is white. Initially, all objects are marked white, meaning they are unvisited and presumed garbage unless marked otherwise. Number two is gray. When the garbage collector identifies a live object, it marks it as gray and begins checking any objects it references. Gray objects are in progress and awaiting full exploration. Number three is black. Once an object and all its references are marked as reachable, the object is marked as black, confirming it's alive. The garbage collector works until no gray objects remain, at which point all remaining white objects are considered unreachable and eligible for collection. This color system helps prevent collecting objects that may still be needed by other reachable ones. Go's garbage collection is designed to optimize memory management by efficiently distinguishing between short-lived and long-lived objects without explicitly categorizing them into generations through techniques like scope-based reachability, escape analysis, and heuristics on object lifetimes, Go's garbage collector frequently reclaims memory from short-lived objects while revisiting long-lived objects less often. This adaptive approach minimizes garbage collection impact on application performance, allowing Go to balance low latency and efficient memory usage, making it well-suited for building high-performance applications with minimal manual memory management.